and welcome I wanted to do a couple of updates here and this is one um, I've updated what I've done is I made another one with a paper clip which is covered with the plastic and what I did I just cut out the sides there and put these on and cut the top there now I found it's it's a lot better oh, sorry this side up it's a lot better with this covering on so it doesn't short out when you put things on then I found to make it portable I put a, a covering up here so nothing touches anything and I put a magnet there now I've, I'm using two magnets there but if you make one just make these shorter so you only need to use one magnet but I need it to cover this distance so to make it work I put two magnets on but nevertheless if you do have two magnets it's quite powerful and your battery goes down there like that and as you can see sorry once it makes up its mind which way it's going to go there it goes quite fast and I think the two magnets was, works a lot better than the one um, have a little bit of play around with it but it is really good because you, you can actually carry it around like this with you and show it to people if you want but um, I think it's a better idea anyway this thing now it is spinning around that way so I'm going to try and put it back to the opposite way see if it will spin this way there you go Now I want to do an update for this um, paperclip motor. Originally I used a wire there, if you can see, just a single strand of wire there. And mine worked fine. This is an old one that I had and I made it out of a straw and cards. The thing is a lot of people are finding it difficult to do this now. Now I'm using a sewing machine bobbin, as you can see. But if you, don't, if you don't have that, you can always use a straw and two cardboard and make it like that. This is the, the latest one I made. Now, this has, if you can see, this has a little bit of a tin. I cut a tin piece out uh, from a Coke can or something. And I put it on there like that. And I found that this works better than the, the, the wire. So, if you are having problems... That's the thing to do. In my latest video, I have used this thing. Now, I haven't used this for some time, but there you go. Quite well indeed. That's a 12 volt battery, as you already know. So, that works fine with, with this thing. This um, tin in there. Okay. Now, People are saying to me that um, they don't have uh, Araldite to Araldite this. So, you can use any glue you like, anything you'd like to hold it onto a card or a plastic, whichever one you want to do. You can actually use a, a plastic card and put this on there. If you have no glue whatsoever, I've decided to show you this idea. This is a, a card, you get your bobbin, put it on there and wrap a sellotape around it so that bobbin holes there then just cut the holes out from both ends and you're done the other thing I want to mention is the, the wire and the turns I put on 600 turns but I found that 570 turns to 600 turns works better for me but if you are going to buy a, a brand new wire then depending on what gauge you use you might have to adjust the turns accordingly for it to work you can use brand new wire let me show you um because i did a lot of, a lot of experiments with these things indeed and i've got quite a few quite a few of these relays because i can get them free from a scrapyard so i use the wire from the relay but 
you don't have to uh, break up a relay if you've got a good one that's working. You can actually buy a brand new one, it's no problem indeed. This is one I made before, as you can see, it's like a bit of a card and a, a straw. The straw one might work a little bit better for you to um, make it work on 1.5 volts. This one, however, works on 12 volts. This is a 12 volt battery. It's a very small battery indeed. The idea, the idea or the concept is what you need to understand. Let me explain a little bit. The reason why I put a card there is because when you put a magnet inside, which is um, on, on the end of the, the rod as it were, uh, when you put a magnet in there, it kind of sticks to the side and so it doesn't go up and down easily. So that's the idea to isolate all um, magnetic material from this piston here. The reason I separate this as well, because I found that if you just use a straight nail or, or um, paper clip, it doesn't rotate because it sticks one way or the other. Also, you don't have to use this isolating thing. If you can find uh, a piece of wire, and I think they have it, which is not magnetic, and you can actually just use one long piece and adjust it accordingly. So that's all the things I can think of. Hope that uh, it works out well for you, and you can design this to larger, smaller, or even a different design, and good luck to you.